always here to ruin a good time. Hi, my name's Justin Brooks, and I'm a cinematographer based out of New York. Now this is not a video about filmmaking or video cameras, but rather a goal I set myself for this new year. Um, and not an original goal, really. Uh, after I set this goal for myself, I realized pretty much everybody within the film and photography space had the same idea. And that was really to jump back into actual film. That is 35 millimeter medium format motion picture film like eight millimeter, 16 millimeter, 35 millimeter motion picture. Really to dive back into what is the fundamentals of filmmaking and that is film. I'm old enough that film is what we used to use just by default. You know, there was no digital. Um, but since digital came along, that's all I've been shooting on. Uh, that's what I've shot on in my career. That's what I shoot on in my day-to-day. -day. Of course, I'm ashamed to say my cell phone is where I take most of my photos these days. So I live a very digital lifestyle. And I was really feeling like I was getting farther and farther away from what is the very basic fundamentals of cinematography and photography, and that is the handling of film and exposure of film. There's a YouTuber that I really enjoy, uh, the YouTube channel Grainy Days, and he had said something that I, I really connected to, and that is digital is real. That's what we see, that's what happened. Whereas film feels like a memory. And I absolutely agree. Digital, I think, is wonderful, and I use it in my day-to-day -day life, and I use it in my career. But there's something about film. There's something so tangible and so real, and it really does feel like a memory to me. So I really wanted to go back to that and reintroduce myself to film. I own a lot of old 35 millimeter film cameras. I own a couple of medium format cameras and a couple of motion picture film cameras, mostly eight millimeter, super eight and one 16 millimeter. But I really want to dive into that this year. And that's what this channel is really going to become is my reintroduction to film. So really, to kick that off, I was really excited to go on a trip with my wife to Niagara. See, I live in New York, so Niagara Falls isn't terribly far, and there is a lot to take photos of. I bought a ton of different types of film stocks and couldn't wait to go out and shoot everything. Mainly, I stuck to one camera, and this is a camera that I actually have shot in the past. I really love this camera, and I remember this as being an absolute workhorse. That is my Pentax K1000. This is not a flashy camera. It's not exciting. It doesn't go for a ton on eBay, but this thing is a tank and really fun to shoot. Super dependable. It is a entirely mechanical camera with the exception of a battery just for the light meter. But if you don't need the light meter in the camera, you can shoot with this all day long without a battery, which is pretty amazing. Luckily for me, the meter on this actually works and is pretty accurate, so I can really depend on that meter. I really love this camera. This is the camera I took to Niagara with me primarily. I shot with the Pentax K1000 and my other favorite camera, a little bigger and a lot heavier. This is my Canon F1. Now I know a lot of people really lean towards the Nikon F1, but I really love Canon FD lenses and I actually already own a ton of them because I use them in my cinema work in shooting film and video. I really love these lenses. There's a lot of great lenses in this FD lineup. And so I thought the Canon F1 would be a great addition for a second camera. My wife brought her Canon AE-1 program. It's an amazing camera and probably one of my favorite cameras to focus through. The uh, finder in that is amazing and it's really easy to focus with that camera. We basically got a Mother Nature version of Chromis. That's right. So because Niagara was so warm during that winter season, there was a lot of fog. And while the fog made everything look 
amazing. See, like, I'm a horror fan, I'm a horror filmmaker, so the more things look like Silent Hill, I'm, I'm for it, I love it. But when it comes to film, that can over diffuse things and it can make things start to look a little flat. You lose contrast, you lose definition, and it starts to really flatten out an image. So I thought to combat that, I would bring some Portra 400 and I'd push it one stop. I would actually tell the camera I'm shooting an 800 ISO film. By pushing your film, you're adding more contrast into it. You're adding a little more grain, but you're also adding a little more color. So it just makes everything punch a little harder. So we're headed to the falls in this dense fog to power take, station take more photos with uh, with the uh, 35 mil see first we immediately went to the falls Niagara Falls are absolutely amazing they're enormous Now, while we were at the falls, I also shot a little Super 8, uh, but that I'm gonna save for another video because that's a whole experience. And nothing was rolling all day. Um, anybody that's shot Super 8 can probably already recognize the frustration in my face. And I'm hell-bent on getting some shots of these falls on the Super 8. <laughs> Film. Film. After we shot at the falls, we made our way even further down to the power station. The power station is super interesting. I'm always so amazed that human hands built these structures. Hundreds of feet Pretty deep, cool. thousands of feet of tunnel, millions of bricks laid. It's just amazing to think that, that we did this. After the power station, we walked a little further down and found the botanical garden. And that's where I got to break out one of my absolute favorite lenses for the Pentax K1000. And that is this guy right here. Uh, this is actually a zoom. It is a 70 to 210 f4. Not an amazingly fast zoom. It's actually made by Sears. This is not a lens that anybody is looking for. You can get these things for unbelievably cheap. The thing that I love the most about this is it has a macro mode right here. And that macro mode, not only is it really fun to shoot macro photography, but once you go into macro, it actually has this really weird glow that that adds. There's something that happens in the lens elements that it adds this amazing glow to your photo. It's basically just having a diffusion filter in your lens. And that was really it. After the falls, then the power station, then the botanical gardens, uh, that was a full day <laughs> and we headed back to our Airbnb. That was really my trip to Niagara. That was my first time reintroducing myself to film, something that I am going to be diving in deeper and deeper and deeper as the year goes on. I can't wait to continue to share my journey down the film rabbit hole with you. Perhaps you find something down the road that 
you can really relate to or something that excites you and makes you want to pick up a camera. Anyway, thank you so much again for stopping by. My name is Justin Brooks, and I hope to see you in the next one.